Good morning, everybody. Uh, this is Austin of the Best I Can Afford Antiques channel. In front of you, I've got the best tip on buying cloisonne you're ever going to receive. Um, besides, you know, buy cloisonne, which I think we're on that. So, <clears throat> this right here, I bought this advertised as a wireless cloisonne vase. Um, now, you can see that those... Uh, that style right there is actually pretty good. And um, there's plenty about this to indicate that it is, in fact, a wireless cloisonne piece. I mean, you see the tones and everything. There's metal, or what appears to be metal at the lip. So we've got some metal looking stuff at the foot very good metal ring looking thing at the uh, at the mouth now this completely fooled me I uh, I was speaking to my friend Gary Yoshino you see how it's even faded away on on the underside there where they red enameled over the silver I don't think that's real metal at all I think that's ceramic and it's gilded and it tricked me <clears throat> I was speaking to my friend Gary Yoshino about this vase and uh, you know, I was working on it for weeks. The only thing I could come up with was that there was a Fukugawa vase that looked a lot like it. Um, I'm not saying this is Fukugawa. I'm saying uh, there's two companies that may have made it. I can't think of the other one right now. Noritake, I believe. Noritake or Fukugawa, this is in the style of. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I couldn't find any information about its manufacture or anything. And when I tapped on this metal looking ring up here, it made a different noise. It sounded like metal. Well, when I tap down here, it sounded, you know, that sounds like ceramic. But up here, do you hear that? That's like a ting ting. Okay, so that tricked me. Um, <clears throat> now, I spent, I spent a long time looking at this thing, and Gary asked me, is this um, gilded or enamel, or is it actually metal? It's really important, Austin. And I said, Gary, 100% sure that's metal. And you guys know how I talk about this stuff. If I'm not positive, I'm like, you know, and anybody can correct me if I'm wrong. But burr, 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 burr. So I said to Gary, like the most educated cloisonne guy you could possibly hope to meet. Yeah, Gary, I'm sure they're metal. <laughs> so, <laughs> and then and then I continued researching it because Gary was interested in it because it had metal rings and stuff. And uh and I kept researching it because I didn't want to lie or be wrong. And, you know, I just uh, I kept looking around. So I posted this vase on Facebook and somebody else posted theirs and they had a blue one. So theirs was actually tipped at the top. And I asked him for a picture of that. And sure enough, this is actually just gilded. This is an entire ceramic vase. None of this is cloisonne at all. This is painted ceramic from Japan made to look I mean you know I'm not saying they were imitating cloisonne <clears throat> but I am saying that their form and style looks very similar to wireless cloisonne so this could have tricked somebody I mean this could have made somebody pay that you know 600 to a thousand dollars if that's cloisonne I would have, I would have dropped that you know I mean that's that's an amazing looking piece now, this is valued at $350 to $450, so I didn't do bad. I paid $140 for this one. So, I mean, just to have an example that looks like wireless cloisonne that I can help other people avoid, that's, that's amazing to me. And plus, I, you know, could make money on it if I wanted to. Now, this little beastie here. Now, that one. When I was talking to Gary, Gary was like, you know, Austin... I can tell you haven't read my newsletter because in newsletter four that I sent you for free. <laughs> no, Gary was very nice about it, but in newsletter four, okay, Gary's got an example. Obviously that's not a great picture. Well, I mean, it's a great picture. It's just not coming through on my phone with light and stuff very well. Well, that's another example of what I'm about to show you. So, all right, there's one example. So you see he's like a rooster with a tree and stuff. It's very typical cloisonne decoration. <clears throat> and uh, 
you know, I want to say again, okay, so if you go to GY, GY Associates, all one word, on eBay, you can get Gary Yoshino's book, which was $100, for $30 from Gary Yoshino. Now, he's not giving me any money to say this or anything. I, I promise. He's not even giving me deals. I just pay Gary Yoshino what he wants for his pieces because I know they're worth at least that. Okay, so... Don't go asking Gary to knock off prices and stuff. <laughs> you're either going to talk to Gary about his book and his cloisonne, and you're going to give him what he wants, or or you leave that man alone. He's beautiful. <laughs> okay, so um, so that's the uh, that's the same example. All right, <clears throat> I'm trying to let you see it a little better. You see, it's very typical of cloisonne. <coughs> so what this actually is is another ceramic vase that I know for a fact has fooled professional collectors in the past. I know this to be true. It is directly in this article from Gary Yoshino in newsletter number four. And he has assured me that if you go and buy his $30 book, which has more signatures on Cloisonne than any other book you could possibly find on the subject, he'll send you the first 12 newsletters for free. That's like that's like 600 pages of knowledge about Cloisonne for $30. Uh, I mean, again, I'm not getting any money. I'm not getting any items for free. I'm not even getting a deal. I'm telling you, for usefulness, 600 pages about Cloisonne for $30. I mean, you probably want to do that. GY Associates on eBay. So, so I bought this for $6.00. At the uh, Salvation Army in my town, I saw it sitting up a shelf. I was like, is that Cloisonne? And it, it could have had me for a second. But there's like, if you look up, um, you see the top of this flower over here? You see how it's not quite lined in? I mean, really, it's just not quite right for Cloisonne. And if it were, I mean, look how fat those wires would be. And this would have to have been a Japanese piece because there's no enam or, I mean, no wires anywhere else. But, uh, I mean, yeah, I could definitely see how that could trick somebody, you know? I mean, that's that's a sneaky vase right there. Now look at the bottom. I mean, that is silver as silver can. And it's even got a little kanji looking thing. I have no idea what it is. It's, uh, it's under that enamel or whatever it is. And then we've got, I've actually got a pretty rare sticker on the back of this one. Now that says, uh, Oh, Fuji Shippo. And um, let me see. It says select or special choice Fuji Shippo ceramics. Okay? This is not Cloisonne. This is ceramics. If you ever see this sticker, do not pay Cloisonne prices for it. I know it's beautiful, but $6 is about my limit on that bad boy. You know, I, uh, you know what? It is actually a beautiful piece. It's just that I feel like it was <clears throat> designed to resemble Cloisonne. I mean, look at this upper ring. And, you know, obviously the metal outline of the art. I mean, that's a trick. That's, I mean, that's sort of a trick. And then for them to call themselves the, uh, the Shippo Company. I mean, when really, what it is is uh, Shippo Earthenware. <laughs> <clears throat> so, yeah. Avoid stuff like this if you're only interested in having Cloisonne in your collection. And really, I'm thinking that this tip alone, mixed with the uh, the information out of Gary's newsletter there, I mean, that's two different vases that look like Cloisonne that could have tricked you that Gary and I are helping you avoid. So, I mean, I really hope this does somebody some good. Uh, I'm probably going to make another video because I got a super neat item that I'd like people to see. And... Uh, and this is only for a select group of people. So, so yeah, hopefully somebody will like my other video today. All right, love you guys. This is Austin, the best I can afford antiques channel. Thank you very much.